Great. This is perfect. What is most nearly the angle between two vectors? Okay, everyone. The angle between two vectors, when that comes up, we should be thinking of a dot product, right? And so let's take a look at our, um, a road map here. I, I, as much as I can, I like to tie every single problem back to the NCES um, book. I'm sorry if it's a little boring or basic to do that, but I can't impress upon you enough that we need to be familiar with, with the book. And then we have the dot product. And what is that formula say? It says A dot B, and these are vectors, is equal to the, uh, the magnitude or the length of vector A times the length of, I'm sorry, of vector B times the cosine of theta. And theta is the angle between the two, and that's what we need to find. Okay, is the sound fine? Can, any, can everyone hear me? Judy says that she can't hear me. Okay, good. The sound is fine. Okay, very good. So what are we going to do? So first of all, what, what page is this on, the dot product? It's on page 35. Right? Okay. So we want to solve. What we want to do is we want to solve for theta. So ultimately, theta is equal to the arc cosine of vector A dot vector B all over vector A vector B. And these in these and these determinant uh, uh, Straight lines here means find the length of it. Well, what's a dot b? Is there a formula in our book for a dot b? There is. Doesn't it say that a dot b is equal to ax bx plus ay by plus az bz? Does everyone see that formula? So that's going to be equal to, everyone help me out here, 1 minus 1 plus 3, 3 plus 2 minus 2. And that's equal to 4. Now, what about the length of a vector? Everyone, how do we get the length of a vector? What's that? Well, that's ax squared plus bx uh, I'm sorry, AX squared plus AY plus AY squared plus AZ squared square root. So it's equal to 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 2 squared square root is equal to the square root of 14. And the length of vector b is equal to minus 1 squared plus 3 squared plus minus 2 squared is equal to the square root of 14. So therefore, theta is equal to the arc cosine of a dot b is what? 4 all over the square root of 14 times the square root of 14, which is equal to the arc cosine of 4 over the square root of 14, which is equal to 73.4 degrees. OK, now everybody. But look at the answer. It's in radians. 
So what are we going to do? We're going to convert, right? So 73.4 degrees times pi radians divided by 180 degrees is equal to 1.3 radians. Okay, so the answer is A. That's right. Eamon said it's pi over 180. That's right. Or 2 pi over 360, said Stephen Collins. And that's acceptable as well. Absolutely. Was this problem fun, everybody? This was a good problem, wasn't it? This is a classic FE exam problem. Finding the angle between two vectors. All right.